tutorial on a half up, half down bridal look with a little bit of a braid coming over the, um, the back and some volume and lift up through the crown area. So what I want you to do to get started is we are going to start by using a flexible hairspray and you're going to spray the entire head before you do anything else. So I'm just spraying all the flexible hairspray in to prep my hair and this will make sure that um, when I start to use my curling iron, that I will have hairspray already in, nice and dispersed, um, by using my paddle brush to brush through it all. So I like to do flexible hairspray to get started, so that when I go to curl and do um, texturizing product and other product on here, then I will have good grip and good texture already built in. So once I get that, I'll brush through. Then what I'm going to do is section out my front end pieces. So I want to do a braid off the part in the front. So I am just going to section out um, side part and then go to the top of the ear and clip this away. And I'm going to save this hair for my braid at the end. I'll clip that aside and do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to clip it away. Now I was talking to um, somebody on Instagram about this style and she was asking for some tips and tricks on how to get the volume in through the crown area without making it look really messy and frizzy in through here. So we're going to focus on this area. Now sometimes what you can do is do texture product or wax spray or a texture powder and that's enough to get the lift that you want. So you can apply that product and you can just kind of pull up on the hair and that will give a lot of volume. If you have hair that's harder to work with and it's really fine or it's really thick or it's really slippery, you might have to do a little back combing. So I'm going to show you how to do this look with the back combing and the texture spray to get maximum volume up in the crown. Okay, so before we do anything else, I just want to make note that how I'm prepping this is the flexible hairspray. I'm sectioning out the front. And now the next section I'm going to do is the crown. So we're going to work on the crown, pin that, then I'm going to pull the front back, and then I'm going to curl the bottom. So those are my three parts. Um, my first step is to work on the crown. So let's get started with that first, and then we'll move on to the braid. Okay, so the crown area, I'm going to start about halfway up from between the top of the head and the ear. And this is all the section right here that I'm going to use for the volume in the crown. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use product and do a little back combing in the underneath and then use this top to pull over the top and be smooth and not have any back combing. So what I will do is take, just skim about an inch off the top and I'm going to go ahead and set this aside for later. So we'll take this, kind of smooth it out and I'm just going to pull this over the top. And then I'm going to do a one more about half inch section and pull that over the top. So in total, I have about one and a half inches or so that I'm saving for later that I'm going to pull over the top to smooth, okay? Now this part underneath, this is where I'm going to start back combing. So what you want to do is take a small section of the hair and use a little bit of wax spray. So I am using Wax Blast 10 by Redken. I'm going to spray it at the root and then just back comb slightly. So I'm holding the hair up with loose tension, back combing a little bit, taking the next section in the crown. So I'm dividing the crown into two parts because um, I want the volume to be rounded over the top of the shape of her head and not just be a poof right down the center. So I just take a little bit, about a half an inch or so, um, around the shape of her head. So I'm starting on the side and working toward the center spraying with my wax spray and then back combing a little bit loose tension and then repeating on the other side and i'm going to do that until the head starts to curve just slightly so when the head starts to curve or round out the back that's where i'll stop so i think i have about one more section here and you'll notice that i didn't curl all this first now the reason i didn't do that is because i want to have really beautiful um, clean curls at the end and if I curled all this hair first right now when I'm separating and pulling up on it it's going to be breaking up those curls and making them really frizzy so that's why I'm waiting to curl to the very end okay now that you have this 
What I want you to do is take all of the hair and pull it over, including the top that you sectioned out, okay? And you're just gonna slightly smooth it over. So you can see I already have some lift in here. And I'm just gonna start to create the shape. So I'm gonna create that rounded shape for the volume that I want. And smoothing it over the top so you don't see any of that back combing. And then I'm gonna use my wax spray and spray on the top. So I'm not using hairspray. If I use hairspray on here initially, it's gonna be sticky and frizzy and it's not gonna get that nice grip that you want. So you wanna use a texture spray if they have fine hair, or you can use a wax spray if they have thicker hair. So I'm using the wax spray. Then I'm gonna go in with my comb and lift it up. So this is where I'm kind of starting to create this volume, okay? So I'm lifting it and you can see that I'm getting a good boost here because this is where I did that back combing. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the hair slightly with your fingers. So I'm just gonna grab it like this in the center. Make sure there's no gaps in the top. So no gaps here. And I'm holding it slightly with my fingers and I'm just gonna start to pull up on it. So I'm just taking little sections with my fingers and pulling up. And that's gonna to start to create some nice texture in here. And because we saved this top out and we didn't back comb it, it's not gonna be frizzy. So you can hold it lightly with your fingers. I'm gonna give it a little twist. I'm just twisting it slightly. And then, grab my pins here, then I'm gonna pin it. So you're holding the tension with your hands first before you do any pinning. So I'm gonna just do one pin flat across. And that way I can continue to just pull out, create a little bit of more volume. See what I'm doing back here. So I'm just pinching a little bit and pulling up. And because I have the back combing done under here and the wax spray on top, that's what's creating this nice texture. Okay, so once you've got that good, then you can finish by taking the remaining side. So you wanna take this section over and make sure it's smooth. Hold it loosely in your hands and pull this out. And then you can give it a little twist and pin that in. Now what you wanna do at this point is um, make sure you have balance. So once you get the whole crown secured, what you'll do then is step in front of your bride and make sure you have the right amount of balance in the front. So I'm looking at her from the front and then you can kind of do any adjusting that you need to make sure you have the volume that you want. That's how it will look from the back. I'm just gonna grab this last section here and pull that over because you wanna have um, the whole amount of hair in the crown all added to this part. I'm gonna twist that and then pin that in. Okay, now that this has the look and the volume that you want and the texture that you want in here, you're gonna hairspray it and then you're not gonna touch it anymore, okay? So I'm still using my flexible hold hairspray like that, don't touch it. All right, now we're gonna work on the braid. So we have this section. You can see it's nice and smooth, totally secured on both sides. Now we're gonna work on the braid. So I'm gonna take this part out. And this particular um, gal here, she's got long hair in the front, so I'm not gonna be leaving any pieces out. But if you have someone who wants that soft, like boho look in the front, this is where you're gonna leave pieces out in the front. Again, I'm not going to because she's got really long hair and that would look sort of strange. So what you'll do here is determine how the style you want the braid to be. Do you want it to be a French braid? Do you want it to be a fishtail braid? Think about the look that you want here and that's gonna determine how you're gonna do your braid. Then you're gonna take a little bit of pomade, stick it in your fingers and start your braid. So like I said, I am going to use all the hair in this front section, but if you want to leave some pieces out, then leave those out now and just start on the inside. I'm just going to do a regular three strand braid. And what I'm going to do is take hair from the outside. So from this part here, but I'm not going to take any hair from the inside. So I'm only gathering hair from the outside because I want it to be really soft. And I'm just working my way back with the braid, grabbing hair loosely as I go, and working myself around following the shape of the hair here. So I'm following the line that I created with this volume. 
and I'll just walk down a little bit and then I'm just going to loosen it up. So I'm pulling out the hair here and making it really soft and loose. And then I'll finish off this braid. And then you can just finish it off with a um, bobby pin or an elastic. I'm going to use a bobby pin because I'm not exactly sure how I want to place this braid over the top. So if I use a bobby pin, it's easier to take out and come back to later. So I just secure my braid with a bobby pin on each side. And then I will go ahead and do the other side. So we'll come over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a really soft, loose braid here. Now, just to refresh, you want to hold the hair back because I want it to flow back with the part that I have right here. If you hold it forward, you're going to see a harsh line. I don't want that. So that's why I'm standing behind it. And I would put some pomade or smoothing cream in your fingers and that will help you to get a really soft and smooth braid without any frizz. And I'm only gathering hair from the outside, not from the inside. Some people call that a lace braid. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm just going to softly move backwards with loose tension following my braid. And then I'm going to just pull it out really soft. So we're just making it really loose right here. And then same thing, I'm going to go down to the end. And I'm going to finish it with my bobby pin because I'm not exactly sure how I want it to lay yet. So that's why I'm not securing it with a hairband yet. So that is the second part. Part one was doing the crown. Part two is doing the front. And then we're going to pin this over the back and then finish the bottom. Okay, now for the back, this is where you want to use your creative skills. So I'm going to just hold the braids and kind of see how I like it. So I can hold them and cross them like this. I might want to add more hair in to give it a twist. I'm not sure yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thick braid first and I'm going to hold it over the back where I want it to be. And I'm just going to put um, open hairpins into my braid. So what this looks like is I take an open hairpin. So it's not a bobby pin. Can you see it? There we go. And I'm going to grab a little bit of this hair, go in towards the head and then push it towards myself. And this way, I'm just getting the shape of the braid and the look of it before I actually pin it in securely. So this kind of holds it loosely as I work with it to see how I want it to go. So I think I want it just to go a little bit over to the side here. And then you can kind of step back and see how you like it. So if I like that, then I can go back through and pin with real bobby pins and not just the hair pins. But what I wanted to do is see how it looks first. So if I like this, then what I'm going to do is go ahead and go through and stick these bobby pins in, just going right towards the scalp and then pushing it towards myself. And that will help to hide the bobby pins and make the spray nice and secure. Now I'm going to take out these two, bobby bobby, two bottom bobby pins because I want this hair to come down. And I'm going to take the bottom strand my bottom strand here and I'm going to pin this in to secure it. And then when I come back to curl the bottom, I'm going to curl all of this into my updo. Or sorry, curl all of it with the rest of the hair down here, not with my updo. Okay, so you can see how I have this across into this twist. Now I'm going to take this side and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll lay it over. And just put hairpins in to secure it and then kind of decide do I want it to go above do I want to go down I think I want it to go above so I'll pin it as I go and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this end and loop it through the braid I have right here so I'm sticking my fingers in right here and then bringing this through just like that we go. And then I'm going to pin that in as well. Okay, so then the very last part after you've brought this other braid through is you're just going to go through and you can do any kind of detailing here to pull this out any looser that you want and go through and pin. And then you're going to go through and curl all of this. So what I would do to make sure you have really nice clean curls is you'll take one section at a time 
So I'm taking a small section like this, hairspray it, comb it through, and then curl it. And then go to your next section. Take it, hairspray it, comb through, curl it, let it go. And when you curl, you'll just let those curls go. And then when you're all done, if you want to break them up, that's when you can go back through and use your fingers or the end of your tail comb to break up the curls to make them more separated if you want that kind of a look. And then lastly, if you want to have a little more texture in through here, you can take some of these sections that are right underneath the braided part and give these a twist once you've curled them. And you can twist these in like this. Go a little closer so you can see. And then pin this up right underneath your braided section. So you could do one here and pin that in and do the same thing. We're just taking a little hair from the underneath and twisting that and pinning that up like that. So that will give you come some more, um, you know, texture and pinning under there as well. So anyway, that is the overall look. So you have a soft braid on each side. You have a nice bit of volume in the back that's nice and smooth and clean. And then once you go through and do the curling with each small section, then you'll have a really nice, um, smooth and frizz free curl on the bottom. So that is my tutorial for you today. If you like this video, then go ahead and like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram or join the Facebook group, The Updo Collective, where I'm doing a lot of tutorials all the time, especially on Mondays. Um, that's it. If you have any ideas for more updos that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do them. All right, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.